Hey guys, it is Sophia, the Diabet Vlogger. This is Tuesday, March 26th. Um, I know I haven't vlogged in a couple days. I actually haven't filmed since Friday. And I was going to film yesterday. I just didn't have time. And there wasn't any good enough quiet time to film. And I woke up late because I stayed up late. And then, so I didn't get any filming done, and I really just didn't feel up to it. I haven't been feeling great. Um, my blood sugar was high this morning, so this morning I was like 340, and my stomach hurt, and so I was just kind of taking it easy, do some reading, read my Bible, went on a walk, ate some lunch, and then filmed. But I have good news, so let me start with what happened on Friday. I told you guys on Friday I was going to go get in my shots and I went on Friday and I was told something different that I had to have a doctor's prescription to get a third TB at Walmart. And I went to the pharmacy because they said I could get it at the pharmacy and they said I could get it there but I needed to make sure it was the same series which it should have been and they weren't going to let me do it there. So I left feeling very sad and defeated and like maybe this is not what I'm supposed to do again. But I had, uh, I feel like God showed me that the reason why I have all these problems is to help me be the best I can be, to be the best of service to others, which is why I want to do this job, is to serve and to help others. And by all these trials and tribulations I've had getting to this point, I don't want to believe that it's about to happen. I think I'm not going to believe it till I step in class on the first day. So today I'm going to go register and hopefully that will go as well. And I might be able to start school April 9th or if not May 20th. So that's very excited but I'm just, I'm not trying to get my hopes up because I never get my hopes about something. It ends up being dashed. So it was pretty warm yesterday. It was clear this morning. It warmed up. It was, it, it was been, it's been nice weather the past couple days. So yesterday I went to get shot picks. I went and got my shot. I read... I've been writing, I, re I wrote a good amount yesterday and today and I got caught up on the blacklist and on the resident except now I'm in their episode to watch. I started season two of Handmaid's Tale and that's about it. So I've had this the past couple of days and then on Sunday I went to church and then we went, I had the assault which was good and I had this idea about writing in which I haven't done a whole lot of. I have in some ways like with the people and the relationships. I think I made them kind of like my personality which I think is normal for writers to do. But I was like I have so many experiences that I can put in my writing and since I've started doing that the past couple of days I feel like I've been able to write more and it's going to be more meaningful for the people who read it because people who have gone through stuff they're the best storytellers and they can and they can put it in the right words that people understand it and to apply it to, to their lives. I'm still really stuck on the same Mario game. It's very upsetting. I've been playing the Iron Maiden game and that's really fun. Except you have to wait to get more um, like souls so you can go on to the next part of the game. So I got so close to getting through this Mario Rapids 4-8 which is so upsetting so maybe I can do it today. I've got a lot of points for more weapons but I need weapons like in 300 and there's like hardly any weapons for that because we've got these people who are these um, monsters who have like a thousand things. Also, my cat went all wild on me and gave me all these scratches because Stella, who's our neighbor's cat, who's become our cat, decided to go and scare him like she always does. And I was trying to be nice and picked him up and instead he mauled me. So, it doesn't really hurt. I hope he doesn't scar too bad. We got too many scratches from him. And I'm so behind on reading. I've got Bible study tomorrow. So, I've got to come home tonight and do that four lessons of Bible study or maybe I'll do two today and two in the morning we will see but now that I'm getting so close to it like I'm, I, I want it to get here but I want my numbers to be in more control and better and even though I'm doing okay with how things are doing with schooling and I'm really the closest I've ever been and that feels good I don't want to get too confident in that but there's still other things in my life that are just difficult and hard to handle and it causes stress and stress is not good for my blood sugars 
but I think if I get into school and I get out of the house more, it will help with that. So talking back to school, I was going to go to Eastfield College and I'm still going to go there, but the classes are going to be at the Pleasant Grove campus, which is a little further from my house, not too far. I say that's a good and a bad thing. It'll be good because it will be new to me. It'll be a new place. There'll be more people there, different people. I'll be around, you know, just more diverse people and people who don't live where I live, which will be good. And um, to just be a little bit more on my own, but then it's being a Friday, so it's going to be hard to get there. But I don't think it should be too a problem because the classes will start at 9 and end at 1. So it wouldn't be that much of a problem. And they do have all three of the classes that I need to take as long as it doesn't need to be in order. So hopefully that will go well. Hope you guys are staying healthy and well. Um, this month's almost over. I'll see you guys in our video. Goodbye.